This is the second of two lessons covering balance sheets within the series of accounting lessons. In the previous lesson, we focused on the very most basic definitions within balance sheets. In this lesson, which I could refer to more as an intermediate lesson, we expand out the different categories from what we looked at last time. So within assets, we'll think about different subcategories of assets. We'll distinguish differently between less tangible assets like accounts receivable, money owed to you by customers, and more tangible assets like inventory, material that you're working towards producing products that will be sold to customers, or property, plant, and equipment, a set of assets, the things that the company owns or is, that allows it to create value. Similarly, over on the liability and equity side, we'll expand things out into subcategories, and in the course of this lesson, you'll walk through a variety of transactions that introduce typical business situations that occur and how you can represent them within that balance sheet structure so that you can maintain the balance between the two sides, the assets on one side and the liabilities and equity on the other side that represent the balance in the balance sheet. So we start with these basic steps. We have expanded them in this lesson to some intermediate steps and that should help you handle the additional more complicated situations that will be the focus of an MBA accounting class.